coverage now of your afternoon rush as this hot weather impacts people's day-to-day -day activities. School districts all around our state are finding their way back to school with a disrupted rhythm by these soaring temperatures. Officials with Thomaston and Plymouth Public Schools, along with Oliver, Wolcott Tech, and Torrington, all made changes to their schedules due to the heat. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo is live in Thomaston for you with the details. Audrey. Well, Kara, it turns out there just wasn't enough shade or air conditioning really to go around here. Right now I'm at Thomaston High School, but pretty much the district officials decided that they were going to cancel classes half day today and dismiss early. Take a look at this video. This was from around 1125 this morning. There's a line of parents there in their cars to pick up their kids and it's going to look exactly the same tomorrow and Thursday as the district put out a message to parents saying it wasn't safe for students to be in school. Their, superinti their superintendent, I should say, cited the governor's hot weather protocol. I'm not surprised. Um, you know, I, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, it's we have no problem. I mean, we have to make different arrangements, but I understand the, you know, the health problems. Fortunately, in Connecticut, half days do count towards the 180 days that kids have to be in class each year. Now, in Plymouth, it was a, ma a matter of canceling outdoor activities to keep kids out of the sun during the hottest part of the day. Eli Terry Middle School will not have after school activities tomorrow or Thursday either. And we actually just heard from their superintendent about 15 minutes ago. He tells us that classes in the Plymouth School District across all of the schools will be half day tomorrow and on Thursday. Now, now, Oliver Wolcott Tech in Torrington, they also canceled their classes half day today with students back on the school buses headed for home by noon. Some districts, however, made the decision to stay open. We'll have more on one district and how they did it, how they shuffled kids around to make sure everyone stayed cool. But for now, I'm live in Thomaston. Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Audrey.